Easter Island shock as archaeologists make a stunning discovery about these mysterious heads and statues. There are over a thousand of them on the island. Archaeologists made a major breakthrough in understanding of the mysterious statue heads, what they were used for. Sean Martin expressed UK reports, almost a thousand stone carvings of heads littering the eastern island of the Pacific Ocean, and the researchers have been unsure of their purpose. The purpose and relevance of these statues, known as the Moai, M-O-A-I, which were built by Pacific Islanders who inhabited the islands until uh, they died out in the 16th century. Now we know that there was a great volcanic eruption in the 16th century which caused a worldwide famine at that time. I just read one of these articles, one of the many things that took place uh, causing worldwide destruction, but I'll do another video on that. But um, uh, has, there has never, it has never been understood what happened to them, but now experts believe that they have made a major breakthrough. Up to 90% of the statues were produced in a quarry called Rano Raraku. It's a volcanic crater which makes up just 1% of the island's area. So this is a volcanic island. Now, the international team of researchers collected soil samples for chemical analysis and they found something to be extremely fertile. The region was extremely, of course, most of the places around volcanoes are very fertile because of the minerals that come out of the ground. Now, the quarry region was not only used to create the, Mo the Moai, but it was also used to grow crops such as bananas, taro, sweet potato, and paper mulberry. And as a result of the quarry's fertility, the team of researchers believe the statues could have been built to represent fertility and prosperity. Building on that, some 400 statues were left in the quarry, suggesting they were there as islanders could have believed they simulated and boosted fertilization in the area in the hope that they would yield better crop results. Geoarchaeologist Susan Sherwood from the University of South Swansea, Tennessee, said that uh, we got the chemistry uh, results back and I did a double take. There were really high levels of things that I would never have thought would be there, such as calcium and phosphorus. The soil chemistry showed high levels of elements that are key to plant growth, for example, phosphorus, and essentially for, uh, for the yields, the high yields. Everywhere else on the island, the soil was, soil was being quickly worn out, eroded, being leached of elements that feed the plants. But in the quarry, with this constant new influx of small fragments of the bedrock generated by the quarrying process, there is a perfect feedback system of water, natural fertilizer, and nutrients. The team wrote in their research paper published in the Journal of Archaeological Science, quote, we venture to the novel suggestion that based on this data and on the ritualization of the Ranuraraku and its stone as megalithic resources, Ranuraraku soil sediment itself was a valuable and protected commodity. Soil could have been transported from Ranuraraku to enrich those areas needed increasing product to increase the productivity. Also, archaeologist Joanne Van Tilburg from UCLA said that this study radically alters the idea that all standing statues in Ranuraraku were simply awaiting transport out of the quarry. These and probably other upright moai in Ranuraraku were related, retained in place to ensure the sacred nature of the quarry itself. The moai were central to the idea of fertility and the Rarapu Nui belief their presence here stimulated agricultural food production. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. 
Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.